<laughs> what did your daughters think when they first saw you in, in films? You did know, get kick out? I was on As the World Turns, and every day I'd be on the show, I'd say, Kim, Kim, Mom, Mommy's on the show today. Uh, I, I gotta go play. <laughs> <laughs> they never cared. They never cared. <laughs> Anything I did, that's nice. <laughs> Just one last question for the both of you, and then I'll open it up to the audience, and that is one particular individual that you worked with that you might say, wow, he, he or she was the best. He, he or she was the real class act I worked with, or the most exciting, or the most dramatic, or the most memorable. Could you pick one person, or a couple people? Um, <laughs> well, probably uh, Neil Simon. Mm -hmm. You know, he was, he was an actor, but I, I just learned a lot from him, and I admired him so much. Uh, you know, he's, he's so brilliant, mm -hmm. and I, I, he maybe wasn't the most handsome man in the world, but to me, I thought he was absolutely beautiful, mm -hmm. because he was so smart, and bright, and funny. Mm -hmm. He actually wasn't funny. A lot of people that are funny on stage are not always that funny in real life. Mm -hmm. It's like they turn a switch, you know? Uh -huh. Like, I, I didn't think Red Buttons was always funny. We, we have dinner with him a lot, and he was very serious, mm -hmm. but yet he was a very funny man, uh -huh. funny on stage. I learned a lot from him, too. So, Interesting. Yeah. Mr. Alec, you have a personal favorite that you worked with over the years, one particular actor that you would say? Maybe, maybe it's, it's, it's best he, he's such a... He was the best. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Jerry Norbach, Bill Doodle. Uh, So there's got so many nice people that I worked with. Great, great. Well, let's go to the audience then. I'm sure a lot of people have questions, so yes, sir, Dan. Yeah, uh, Buster Keaton story, if anyone of them strikes you. Buster Keaton story, any of the stories he told you that you can repeat? Uh, 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 <laughs> 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 because Walter got, got arrested for raping the girl, and he said, she did, he didn't rape the girl. What's that, 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 that old fat guy? Uh, Patty Arbuckle. He was a very, very best friend of Patty Arbuckle. And he says, no, he did not rape the girl, but he got arrested for it, and they fired him, and they wouldn't hire him, and they hauled him, and everything. The woman used to pop on him, and broke in her, and they blamed him for because of his weight. And they raped, Ray Bolter had uh, Mr. Keaton had a hard time himself getting back on track. Uh, oh, yes. He, burlesque was his one of his favorites of all, uh, Buster Keaton, and his old sticks that he used. He did, you know. Uh, I, I, I worked with a, uh, a TV series. Uh, he was uh, 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 an Indian. He was, a, he was an Indian, it, 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 it was a, a stage culture medicine man. And, and he, would, he would be still, uh, trembling and everything, and he would, he would try the medicine and... Uh, and so we, we, we shot it and everything. And Saturday, I, I went to the garage to get my car fixed. And he said, wow, you're happy. And I said, yeah. He said, oh, I've got a wig off on this story. I forget the name of the guy from there. <laughs> yeah, okay. But he's no longer with us, so he, he, I won't remember his three names. I might not remember his name. Charmaine Lamore McCall, and it was 